Good on YouTube, Kurt S7 here for Game Week 3 of the Fantasy Premier League. Yes, all right, let's get stuck into the review of Game Week 2. Uh, in the end, I made no trades, so the team that you've seen last week was the exact team that I went with in the end. I got 56 points, which is exactly one point behind the average, 57 was the average of this week, and uh, it's got to be said, not having Zlatan Ibrahimovic uh, killed my team this week. So if I had had him, it would have been right up there, but I didn't. So 56 points is what I got. Uh, overall rank, um, I'm 691,000 ranked, which is uh, still above the average. Uh, and overall, I've got 116 points, and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm quite pleased where we are in game week two. We'd like to be a little bit further ahead, but let's talk about the players. So Ben Foster in goal got me two points. They lost to Everton 2-1. Bit disappointing there because I doubled up on West Brom with Johnny Evans, who got me zero. He got me donuts. He got a yellow card, conceded two goals, and uh, pretty disappointed with that because I had McCauley in my team all preseason who scored a goal in this game and Johnny Evans gives me donuts so I was a bit disappointed with that devastated but what do you do John Stones got one point as well City uh, conceding a penalty which in my opinion was never never a penalty but they conceded a penalty nonetheless didn't get the clean sheet unfortunately but Antonio Valencia Got me uh, a clean sheet as well, so I was pretty happy with that. Luke Shaw was the other defender who I was tossing a turning between Valencia or Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw won a penalty this week. Valencia got nothing, but that's just the way Fantasy Premier League goes. Uh, and I got Kingsley, who played 90 minutes as well. Uh, Swansea lost as well, so only the one point, which was uh, a pretty disappointing uh, result for my defense this week. Now in the midfield, again, not the greatest week. We had Hazard scoring four points, who got an assist in the uh, win against Watford. Uh, he's pre looking pretty good this season. I'm happy with the choice of Hazard. Uh, Mares played in a nil-nil with Arsenal. What do you do? Got three points, played 90 minutes. I guess you could be a bit happy with that. Uh, Firmino was a massive problem for me this week. Played very, very wide in the Liverpool loss to Burnley. Liverpool, mate, they're just so inconsistent. One week, they beat Barcelona 4-0. They beat Arsenal 3-4. Then they lose to Burnley 2-0. So, uh, Firmino, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't, I don't care if they're playing losses, just as long as they're creating chances. And if you've got Coutinho in that game, he looked really, really good. Having plenty of chances, you know it's about a matter of time until he scores goals. Unfortunately, Firmino was very, very wide and created very, very little. Getting on to the forwards, we've got my captain... Canaguero, 26 points, 2 goals, 3 bonus points. Uh, just so pleased with him. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have, uh, have him as well. So 26 points for my captain. Happy days. I'll take that every day of the week. Ahmed Musa getting me 1 point, which is uh, very disappointing. I didn't think he would start this week after his poor performance in game week 1. But to get 4 minutes against Arsenal, that is is what kills you. Only four minutes. I would love to have seen Ahmed Musa run around for the last half an hour or even 20 minutes against a tired Arsenal team. Maybe could have got something there, but to play four minutes, very, very worrying. And uh, Andre Gray getting me 10 points as well. So I was pumped at that. Got a goal, got an assist, and played 90 minutes. So uh, some good and some bad in this team, but it's time now to talk about my trades and plans. So the last game week, I made zero trades, which means that this week I get two free trades. So I've decided to go with three trades and take a four point deduction a hit, uh, if you would be, uh, just so I can get my squad to the maximum potential for this game week, knowing that I'm going to use my wild card after this game week. So the three trades that I've made for this week, I've brought in Kapue, who scored uh, another goal this week for Watford, uh, and I'm taking out Fagouli, who is not playing. Uh, rumors going around before the uh, West Ham game against Bournemouth that he's done a hamstring uh, hamstring a hamstring injury rather and uh, he's going to be out for a few weeks so it's time to get him out only reason why i got kapua in because his price is going to rise and i need some cash going in to next game week with the uh, wild card in hand 
my second trade for the week is to bring in Tadic. Now, Tadic hasn't done nothing this season when it comes to fantasy uh, points. He hasn't scored a goal or got an assist, but he has created the most chances in the whole Premier League. He's looking dangerous. He just hasn't had the end product this far. But uh, Southampton are playing Sunderland this week at home. So you would think, surely... Southampton is going to score a few goals, and hopefully Tadic can be on the end of a few goals there. Uh, I'm replacing him with Firmino. Uh, like I said, very worried about Firmino. Not looking too good, so it's time to get him out. And especially Liverpool playing away to Tottenham. And my last trade this week was to bring in Diego Costa. Uh, scored two goals this season so far. One goal in each game. Both the winners, rather. Uh, he's getting uh, bonus points as well. And uh, Diego Costa, or I should say Chelsea, rather, are at home to Burnley so you think again even though Burnley beat uh, Liverpool Burnley are conceding the most chances this season out of any team in the league so time to bring in Diego Costa and getting out Ahmed Musa who is not even or barely even playing for Leicester so those are my three trades for this week I've already made them So looking at game week three, this is the lineup that I'm going to be going with. I'm going to go with Courtois in goal. Uh, they're at home to Burnley. So hopefully uh, Chelsea can dominate uh, a game and keep a clean sheet, uh, which I think they will do. Uh, now I've got Valencia at, um, in my defense. Uh, United are away at Hull. Hull looking very, very good. But I've got uh, Valencia for attacking options. So hopefully he can get an assist. Johnny Evans, uh, I'm not looking too confident in him, but they are at home and they're playing Middlesbrough, who are looking good. So I am a bit worried about that. Uh, and then we've got John Stones, City playing at home to uh, West Ham. Uh, hopefully, West Ham have got a lot of injuries, so maybe with a bit of luck, uh, City can keep a clean sheet. Now in the midfield, it is stacked and packed. We've got Nathan Redman. Uh, he's at home to Sunderland. Now the same reason why I brought Tadic in. Hopefully there's going to be a lot of goals for Southampton. And hopefully Redmond and Tadic are going to be on the end of them. Hazard, uh, like Diego Costa, is at home to Burnley. They're conceding the most chances. Hopefully he can score a penalty or get an assist. Uh, Mares, again, he's at home. One of the reasons why I wanted to start with Mares at the start of the season was for this fixture. Hopefully, he's on penalties. Hopefully, he gets a goal, if not an assist. Tadic at home to Sunderland. Enough said. And Kapue. Kapue was the man that I brought into the team. I didn't really want to start Kapue, but two goals in two games. Uh, he's going to start. There was a bit of an injury cloud, but there's nothing. Uh, he will play. He's on form. They're at home to Arsenal, who are leaking goals. You never know. Hopefully, a goal and assist I'll be happy with. Uh, and Aguero is up front. Um... He's playing at home. You've always got to be wary of uh, Aguero, especially when playing at the Etihad. And again, Diego Costa, who Chelsea are at home to, Bo uh, to Burnley. So for the captain's choice this week in my particular team, we're going to stick with Aguero. Again, third game in a row it will be, and he's delivered in the first two games for me, so why not in the third? He's at home to West Ham. They're leaking injuries, uh, and hopefully in this game they're going to leak goals. And uh, Now, if I did not have Aguero, or I should say my top three captains for this week, uh, if I do or don't have them, in coming in third, um, I'd say you've got to go with Diego Costa. I got Diego Costa. Like I said, I'm harping on about it. Burnley are conceding chances left, right, in center. I think Diego, if he doesn't get a red card or a yellow card, he's going to be in contention with bonus points, but hopefully he can get uh, grab a brace. Now, second choice for me is my man Aguero. I think he's got goals in him. That's why I'm making him captain. But my number one choice this week for my captain's poll is Harry Kane. He's at home to Liverpool. Liverpool are leaking goals left, right, and centre. Um, Harry Kane's yet to score this season. He needs to get off the mark. And I think this week... Uh, he can pretty much do the job against Liverpool. But yeah, lads, that's another episode of Fantasy Premier League for me this week. Hopefully, uh, you have a good game week. And uh, get your comments in below. What was your score this week? And what uh, is your overall score? And where are you ranked? Get your comments down below. But until next week, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. And peace.